In the earlier series, we talked about building an adaptive zero trust environment. But in the start is always identity. So what can you do with identity? So one of the things is your traditional ad identity provider can be used to control zero trust network access. A lot of companies are, cons are referring to that as also private access. And what private access is used for is to control access from the endpoint to the actual private apps. So think of these being stored in the cloud or being stored in a data center of some sort. We can use identity to validate is that should that person be granted access. Now that's usually done in the beginning. We validate they have access, they're coming from the right device, but what if we want to do more than that? So that network access is done by a couple different things. We're going to look at the actual desktop that a person is logging in from, and we're going to validate that this network access grants that application, that endpoint, access to the private application. But we can also use identity to allow them to actually authenticate on applications that are within themselves, or also look at a zero trust usage model, meaning we not, not only get visibility on where they're coming from, what device they're coming from, but we can look at the user uh, usage of that ap application. Is that user copying and pasting? Is they uploading things to unsanctioned apps? Are they putting things on thumb drives? They shouldn't be. Are they copying things into their private email and uploading it? Identity can be used to control all of that and provide that initial attack vector or additional informational vector. But ultimately, what we want to get into is some type of continuous monitoring where we're using identity to not only control network access, understand usage, but monitoring that usage can inform our continuous monitoring and then continuous monitoring can inform identity. So that way we can validate, you know, based on the usage we're seeing, John or Bob or Alice just isn't themselves. And we don't know who they are. We don't know if it's someone pretending to be John or Bob accessing the application, but we need to validate them. We need to maybe enable two-factor authentication. Maybe we need to control what's on that endpoint. I use the word usage. We might want to prevent app copying and pasting using USB based on what we see at that endpoint.